Hi there. So let's analyze this circuit consisting of two transistors. Let's say these are the positive voltage supplies that we apply with respect to ground. You have two transistors Q1 and Q2. So let me write them. This is Q1 and this is Q2. It has three pins, collector, base, and the emitter. Here also collector, base, and the emitter. They are NPN transistor because of the direction of the arrow suggests the direction of the current flow, which will be from collector to the emitter in these transistors. Now you have used an input current source IS, which is trying to get into the base current of the transistor, base pin of the transistor Q1. So that's the base current IB here. Here it will be a IC and the current coming out of emitter will be IE. Same is the situation here. You have IC, IB and IE. Now there is this resistor RB which is providing a bias or setting the operating point for transistor Q1, such as there is a voltage drop across it, which is the voltage drop across the input junction of the transistor that makes that which is the VBE, base to emitter voltage. And that makes this diode forward bias. We have to, the voltage should be more than the forward bias requirement of the transistor. And if we want to use the transistor to be in active mode, then their base emitter junction should be forward bias and the base collector junction should be reverse bias. So this diode here should be reverse bias. This diode here should be forward biased for both the transistors. So what you see here, we have the transistor Q1 and from the collector pin, you have a RC1 and uh, this transistor is acting as current to voltage converter. That is I to V converter. How? So you have, let's say, an input current IS that is coming here. And then you have this current getting split into two parts, IB and let's say IRB. And uh, you have the, from the collector pin, uh, the voltage at the collector pin will be V plus minus ICRC1 would be the voltage at the collector pin. And the voltage at the collector pin VC should be greater than or equal to VBE of this transistor Q1. Then only the transistor Q1 will be in active mode. That is, it will provide as a constant current. It will act as a constant current source that will give this collector current flow, okay? And uh, then the output VC here is becoming an input to this second transistor Q2, where is the voltage drop here is VBE again. And now uh, the voltage here which is the voltage across the R2, let's call it as a VE, will be VC minus VBE. So this voltage at the base minus this voltage junction drop is the voltage at the emitter. So this second configuration consisting of transistor Q2 and RC2 and R2 is acting as a common emitter mode configuration, CE mode. And it has the R2 acting as acting as emitter degeneration degeneration resistor so what's the advantage of emitter degeneration it sort of provides a negative feedback into the circuit that provides the immunity of the second stage against the biasing condition variation that may happen due to change in temperature or some other parameters noise etc now what we have to note here, you are taking the voltage drop, you are sensing the voltage drop across R2, VR2, or which is also called as VE. 
and then that is producing a current that flows through RF, which is a feedback resistance. Let's call this current then IF. This current is getting summed at this node with the input current IS. So this current here is IS plus IF. And then that current also getting split between the two parts IRB and the IB. So there is this section is there is this negative feedback that is being used. So there is a negative feedback. Now you have to tell me as an exercise, what is this feedback? Shunt, shunt, series, 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 shunt or shunt series. There are four types of feedback and this is a feedback amplifier. So now the first stage is acting as I to V with the gain output Vc, Vo equal to Vc divided by Is is Rc1. That is the gain of the transistor. And the second stage is your out. This is the output, which is the drop across the load resistance. V out divided by Vc will be the ratio of Rc2 divided by R2. And uh, if you take the mod of it, then it would be equal to Rc2 divided by R2. So it is the gain is purely set by the two register Rc2 and the R2. So this is how like first you are getting current into voltage by means of two stages okay uh, so you have to tell me now uh, what is the input impedance of this circuit when you look at this circuit from the input side what would be the input circuit so remember your input is the current and this is a current amplifier the first stage second is a voltage amplifier okay so you have to also tell me what would be the R, R out. You can also analyze the signal by drawing. You can analyze the circuit by drawing the small signal model of this circuit. So we can try to have that kind of circuit. Okay. And also you have to tell me like what kind of feedback you applied. So hope you found this video useful. If you did so, uh, do like put some comments and uh, share with others for wider reach and uh, do subscribe to our channel for more engaging contents like this. Till then, wish you happy learning.